Here is a water drop, written by Ellie Woolard, illustrated by Irene Bofi Garcia. Here is a water drop, sad and grey, on a puddly, muddly, dull sort of day. She sighs to herself, how I long to be in the shimmering, glimmering silver sea. Here is the sun, bright and round, whose warmth lifts the drop from the pool on the ground. Evaporation lets her take flight, as water vapour, small and light. High over meadow and village and town, but she thinks to herself, it's a long way down. Here are the winds, whispering, cool, which stop the drop and allow her to pool, with others like her in a clustering crowd. Condensation has made a cloud. The drop no longer feels so small, but she thinks, is there room in this cloud for us all? Here is the storm with its biting chill, which tosses the cloud over mountain and hill. But the cloud's too heavy, it's too much to bear. Precipitation comes falling there. So, soft in the light of the moon's pale glow, the drop dances down as glittering snow. Here is the drop, frozen hard, resting a while in a small backyard. And now she's a ball, she's whizzing, splat. Then she's a plump little man in a warm woolen hat. But she dreams of the sea, sparkling blue. Yet the sea's so far, and what can she do? Here is the sun, kindly, round, that melts the drop on the icy ground. Infiltration allows her to seep through the soil dark and deep. She's groundwater now, slowly slipping, off through the rocks, dropping, dripping. She's buried for months, she wonders then, if she'll ever see light of day again. But here is the spring, which leaps from the ground with a babbling, burbling, gurgling sound. And the drop remembers her sea-bound dream as she rushes along on a rippling stream through waterfalls crashing with thundering roars and lakes that lap at their shingly shores. Then down the long miles of the river she goes and so, as it widens, on she flows with such fearless strength, so eager, so fast that she reaches the sea the sea at last. Now here is the drop, feeling bold and brave, as she twirls in the swells of an ocean wave. The water cycle, she thinks, is now done, and my life of adventure has truly begun. The world is so wide, now where should I go? But here comes the teasing breeze. Oh no!